here we are back in the post and if we scroll all the way down here to the bottom of the post this is where we have the Yoast SEO settings so Yoast SEO that's the plugin that we installed earlier now here is what will show up in the results on Google and other search engines this here is the title this here is the URL or the permalink and right here we need to provide a meta description so that little description that shows up in the Google search results when you do a search what shall we use for that well normally we're just going to use the first sentence or two sentences of the post I'm going to copy that and when I click here this is going to open up and we can add a little bit more you see the green line here we can add text until the green line gets to the end now anything we add over that is not going to show up or probably not going to show up in the search results all right that's fine I have gone over and all it means is that it will show so much in the search results and the words that are cut off it will just show a dot 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 instead but that's okay I'm fine with that now here is the slug and the slug is the part of the URL that appears after the domain in this case do it for wildlife.co.uk it's telling me here that my title is a little long meaning that some of it might get cut off in the search results but we're still going to be able to see this part here our frogs are disappearing but you can save them it doesn't really matter if this last bit is cut off even if your titles are a bit too long and part of it's cut off well as long as you're generating enough interest in the title anyway it's not such a big deal next thing we're going to do is we're going to add a focus key phrase the focus key phrase is the main search term that a person would search on a person would type in to Google or another search engine if they were looking for information like this in this case it will be frogs disappearing and in fact that is a popular search term people do type that in a lot so that's what this post is about is about frogs disappearing and what can be done to help them and all you need to do when thinking of a focus key phrase is think about what is this post really about all right so we're going to click on edit snippet focus key phrase enter it here and now Yoast is going to give us some ideas of what we need to do to improve this post for SEO in other words search engine optimization for getting free traffic from Google and the other search engines we need to add internal links but we can't add internal links when we only have one piece of content internal links is a link from one piece of content on your blog to another so we can't do that until we've added at least two posts now here key phrase density the focus key phrase was found one time but here's the thing Yoast SEO it's just a plugin it's not as clever as Google and what it's saying is that frogs disappearing only appears one time in this post but the word frogs and the word disappearing appears quite a few times now I might need to add the word disappearing one more time I think in this post but the word frogs appears many many times SEO title width the SEO title is wider than the viewable limit try to make it shorter well I mentioned that already we could make the title a little shorter here but I'm not going to because as mentioned I'm not really worried about this part of my title not being viewable in the search results meta description length orange is saying it's okay but it's saying to ensure the entire description is visible in the search results on Google I should reduce it a little bit but as I did mention already I'm not worried about a bit of it being cut off there it still looks fine as you see we've got the dot 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 that's okay image alt attributes images on this page do not have alt attributes that reflect the topic of your text now let's see 
Let's click on this image, edit, the alt attributes, well I've got none at all. So I should add one here. So I've just put in there, help disappearing frogs by creating a garden pond. Because remember I mentioned earlier that Google can't read images, but it can read the alt text. And everything else here, as you see, is green, green, green. Outbound links, because I did put one outbound link here to the RSPB guide. Key phrases in the introduction. Key phrase length, good. Key phrases in the meta description. You've not used this key phrase before, very good. Well, I haven't, obviously, because this is the first post on this blog. But as you get more and more posts on your blog, you might start to forget and start to repeat yourself and create posts that are very similar to posts you've already created using the same key phrases, that kind of thing. And in that case, Yoast SEO is going to alert you to that. Text length, the text contains 628 words. So this post is 628 words. Key phrase in the slug. Now the slug is, we looked at this already, the part of the URL that comes after the domain name. Now, even though I've got a word between frogs and disappearing, that's okay, it doesn't matter. All right, so the things that I will do to improve this as I add more content to the blog is I will add at least one internal link, so a link going from this post to another page or post on this blog. I will need to do something maybe about the keyword density because perhaps disappearing or disappear is not in this post enough. I'll need to just add it maybe one more time. I could, if I wanted to, try and reduce the title width, but I'm not going to. Okay, so that is a run through of the Yoast SEO plugin. Once it's installed, you will be able to do this on every post and page that you add to your blog. Now, after a while, you will get so used to doing this the right way that the Yoast SEO plugin will become more or less redundant to you. But in the beginning, it's a really handy guide. Okay, I'll see you in the next lesson.